Uh, I wanted to start by just saying I hope that everyone found a way to have an enjoyable 4th of July holiday. And although the weekend was vastly different from many of those in the past, I do appreciate all the efforts uh, people made to try to find a way to celebrate safely. And I also want to thank the businesses and the individuals that are working so hard to adhere to the protocols that we have laid out, which are now more important than they ever were. And I know it's not easy, especially when uh, we've uh, had to change uh, what's been expected of both businesses and individuals. So I appreciate the flexibility as well. I do want to remind us that we are in a new chapter of our response. And unfortunately, where we are today is different than where we were two, three, or four weeks ago. Cases are surging, hospitalizations are increasing, and mostly this is all a reflection of a lot more community spread. All of us, businesses, individuals, and here at the Department of Public Health, we have to be willing to take action quickly as our situation has evolved. Any modifications in the health officer orders are always done in the name of preventing more cases, more serious illness, and more deaths. As we reported out yesterday, uh, we sadly hit another milestone when we saw our highest number of new cases in a single day last Friday at 3,187 new cases. And to prevent more days with high case counts, we do need to recommit to all of the efforts that are required to slow the spread and to act together. And now to update you on our current status. I am sad to report 48 additional deaths today. This does bring the total number of deaths in our county to 3,534 people. Today we're also reporting 1,584 new cases. As a reminder, usually on Mondays we have a lower count as we don't get reporting from some labs over the weekend. This does bring the total number of cases in LA County to 116,570 cases. Working with our partners, the county continues to increase testing capacity and accessibility throughout the county. We are now able to test approximately 26,000 people per day. With this increased testing capacity, we continue to see an increase in positive cases. The county reported its highest case counts over the weekend with more than 7,000 new cases between Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The positivity rate for those who are being tested is at 10% over the last seven days. This shows that there is an increase in community transmissions and that there are many individuals who are infectious around us. Therefore, it becomes even more critically important to practice physical distancing, to wear face coverings, and when you leave home, to wash your hands regularly and stay home if you are feeling sick. And please, limit the amount of time you spend outside your home. 